Hi guys. So following England's defeat to Italy on Sunday, and don't worry, I'm not here to rub anyone's nose in it, I think the England players and their manager behaved like gentlemen, both on and off the pitch. They were rightly gutted with the loss, of course, but they acted like professionals. Now, former footballer Gary Neville highlighted this point when he was interviewed by Sky News. He compared England manager Gareth Southgate to Boris Johnson, and I couldn't have said it better myself. Gary explains what it means truly to be a leader. Let's hear to what he has to say. Do you think the Prime Minister needs to take a look at Gareth Southgate and do more in this area? He said Muslim women look like letterboxes. I think he does, yeah, do you know? Should we not be highlighting this more often? I mean, honestly, Gareth Southgate and Boris Johnson, they're absolutely poles apart. One's a gentleman. You can be a leader and a gentleman. You can be ruthless, but have empathy and compassion. I mean, if you look at Boris Johnson, every time he speaks, and this is not a conservative, this is nothing to do with Tory party, Labour party, Liberal Democrats. I really am disenfranchised and disconnected from what I see in politics at this moment in time. There is a lack of leadership. Gareth, over this last few weeks, as every time that he's come on, whether he's won, whether he's lost, whether he's talking about an incident like racism, he talks with dignity, it's genuine, it's compassionate, it connects to the people of this country, it's someone that I feel I can connect to and feel like I know. And yet, when I hear sometimes, you know, that the MP speak, I'm like, what, what, what is happening here? How can we vote for these people? Look at him. You know, he's, he's hugging the captain of... He's hugging the captain of the opposition team one minute and he's hugging Saka the next minute with compassion. And that's what a great leader has done. And Gareth Southgate over this last three to four years, not just three to four years, throughout his life actually, has carried himself brilliantly as an individual. And it demonstrates that you can be a gentleman, you can have really good standards, but you can also lead. I couldn't have said it better myself. Perfect speech here. And he's right. But I think what happened, what's happening here is Gareth Southgate represents Britain. Boris Johnson represents a very small minority. Now, why does Boris Johnson have an 80-seat majority? Because he's able to get a very small mi a minority to turn out and vote. Boris Johnson speaks the language that the racists want to hear. Boris Johnson speaks the language the Brexiteers want to hear. And those are the people who will come out and vote. And those are the people who come out and vote in marginal seats. They're the ones who gave Boris Johnson an 80-seat majority back in 2019. Boris Johnson's government does not represent the people. It represents a small section of the people. And I think... I'm no fan of football. I'm no fan of uh, the English team or whatever. But uh, I think the English team on Sunday and also throughout this uh, championship, have demonstrated that they are the representatives of Britain. Um, the England manager, in the way he has dealt with issues such as racism, both on and off the pitch, has been extremely dignified. And I, I think Boris Johnson is the opposite of that. Boris Johnson sees issues of racism as something to benefit from something to weaponize and it's not just boris johnson it it's something you're going to find more in the conservative party than in other parties i think they have realized that there's a certain section of society that if they throw enough red meat to them they will come out and vote and they will vote for that conservative party and maintain that power over the over the public and of course they can do that with their friends with the help of their friends in the media, uh, in newspapers, and online as well. So, Boris Johnson does not represent the people. And I truly hope that's the case. I truly hope it's not Boris Johnson representing the people, but Gary Southgate, who is actually representing the British people. And not just the English people, the British people too. Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. 
Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?